hello guys welcome to another episode on dear stella today we are going to be taking two dilemmas from single guys guys single guys stay tuned before we go into it cheers let's have a drink together cheers guys if you've watched my videos in the past please like subscribe comment if you haven't subscribed subscribe thank you to our new subscribers welcome to my channel so today guys i'm going to be talking about dilemma number one let's just get into it this is about commitment in my opinion dilemma one this guy says i'm a rich guy i don't want to get married because it's like committing financial suicide how do i know they want to marry guy single guy the first thing i'm going to tell you is the fact that there are so many women today out there digging for gold that we call you know they're called gold diggers or the fact that they just want to grab your wallet does not mean that there are no good women out there that's the first thing you have to know the question is what kind of woman do you want in your life you want a good woman but I'm, I'm, I want to ask you, single guy, if you see a good woman today, if she stares, stares at you in your face, will you even recognize her? Because the first thing men go for, because they are very highly visual beings, is that they go for a woman who is attractive. That is the men. The men, that is their number one um, reason to fall or to go after, to hunt for a girl. The first thing is she's attractive. Then the rich guys, most rich guys, just boom, they go for the highly enhanced women. Fake boobs, fake bomb, you know, everything is highly enhanced, makeup, everything. But they choose, you can't blame anybody. A lot of men these days, they are against feminism in marriage. They seem to think that feminism is what's destroying marriage and all, all of that. That's all well and good. The question is, you go for women who are superficial. So you just take them as they are, you know, highly attractive. And that's it. You choose beauty over character. There are always red flags all over the place. They show you the kind of women they are. They show you how superficial they are. You don't care because, you know, they're good to dangle on your arm when you go when you go out with your friends. Everybody, they're whistling at your girlfriend. She's gorgeous. She's slim, you know. She's, you know, beautiful. That's all you cared about. Then you get married and then the trouble starts. And then now this woman initiates divorce. Says, you know, comp has a long list of complaints. You have a long list of complaints. You cheat. She cheats. And then now you say, oh, all the women want to do is collect your money. You're crying for, you know, alimony. You don't want to pay spousal support for your kids. And she's stopping you from seeing your children. The question I'm asking you, that woman did not just emerge from nowhere. She was always who she was. But you refused to see it because she was attractive, because she was beautiful. That is the first barrier men need to break. Stop going, stop making the same mistakes over and over again. Pray. You cannot go and ask a woman to be your wife. A woman who is going to change your life. A woman you want to be committed to you, to, to support you, to love you. A woman you want to love. And bam, boom, you just go for beauty. You don't even ask the God who created her, who knows her heart. A heart you cannot see. You don't even ask God for help, for guidance. Pray. The first thing, single guy, the first thing to do. He who finds a wife, finds a good thing and obtains favor from the law. It means before you can find something, you've got to search. Where are you searching? Who are you searching for? So to search for a woman with a good heart that will live with you all the days of your life. There are still, even though marriages are breaking every day, there are still people who have marriages and they're happy and they're committed. Marriage is not overrated. Some people like to think it's overrated. It's not. People are not willing to put work into their marriage. Is it? The people are people are going for women, beautiful, attractive, but they are cheats. You have to do a character check. You have to. You 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 cannot just pick any woman 
she's beautiful and it covers a multitude of sins. No, it's not like that. Search. Do your own check. Do your due diligence. If a company is going to, um, what do you call that thing? Where they buy over another company, take over. Whether hostile or friendly takeover. When you want to take over another company, the first thing you must do, the bigger company does, is to do uh, a due diligence. Due diligence. You cannot marry a woman who is going to be a part of you and your life and you don't do no, no due diligence on her. A lot of men are complaining now that their wives are cheating. Did she just start cheating? You married a cheat. Whose fault is it? Your fault. Do you get? So, you've got to find out, does she cheat? Has she cheated on her exes before? Those are the questions you should be asking. Is she a supportive person? Is she somebody that over-criticize? That, that has no respect? Is she somebody that has no home training? A lot of women, a lot of girls now, they don't have home training. They listen to no one. Their parents didn't even raise them properly. Their, what kind of parents does she have? Are they the parents that one day, the, the first thing in the morning, the man goes east, the, the woman goes west? And the, parents, the children are left to their own devices. Girls and women and guys these days are raised by their peers. They are raised by, I don't know, book, television. What did you think was going to come out of that? So before you get married to any woman, find out what kind of background is she coming from? What kind of parents does she have? What kind of home is she coming from? Stop just stop being tricked by their beauty. Make up. When I finish this make when I finish this video, I'm gonna wash this off. Okay? So don't worry about what can be washed off. Worry about her heart. What comes out of her? That is what can destroy you. So don't be surprised by her character when you didn't do any check. So that's my advice to you. Men, you are your own worst enemy. You want to marry a party girl. You want to marry a girl that smokes like you. You want to marry a girl that drinks like a fish. She smokes like a chimney. That is a woman that is going to raise your kids. Then she enters your house and she turns you into a chewing stick. She curses you out. You know, she has no zero respect for you. And you are wondering how you got it wrong. So, it's not about whether you want to marry. Marry, marrying is your choice, uh, Mr. Rich Guy. But what I'm telling you is you have to do your homework before you get married. Okay? So, there are still good marriages and there are good women. You just have to find her. When you find her, your life will be sweet sweet as an apple <laughs> so i hope that's helpful the second dilemma today is uh, from another single guy and he says why should i get married when women are giving it away from for free when women are giving it away from for free guys not all free gifts are good for you there are some free gifts free sex that can only lead you to destruction that can lead you astray. That can look from the pit of hell. Satan, he has one job. He goes about all over the earth looking for who is going to destroy, who is going to devour. Satan is roaring, looking for whom to devour. Make sure you don't give it to him. You say a woman is. Women are giving it for free. They're giving sex for free. That means they, they sleep with any man they like. Do you know what that means? Diseases. So you are just a recipient of everybody she slept with. So what you that gift that you think is free is not free. Apart from the fact that you could even be sleeping with a demon that can wreck your life and create havoc, whether you are single or whether you are married. Apart from that, do you not care about your health? Do you not care about your life? Do you not value your life? What kind of moral values do you have? If you don't, this is the time to dial it back a notch and ask yourself, what am I doing to me? You are destroying yourself. You are both the victim and the perpetrator. So you think, oh, this is a free package. Let me take it. It's not Christmas Day. It's not your birthday. It's not your wedding anniversary. Stop getting hooked is an addiction you are addicted to a bad habit and I'm, I'm i'm just worried for you because clearly you you don't value your life the bible says flee fornication because every sin a man commits 
is is outside of his body. He said, but he who has committed sexual immorality, you commit it against your own self. So you are both the perpetrator, like I said before, and you are the victim. So you are the cause of your problem and you become a victim of your own problem. You are caught in a web. What you need now is to find a way, quick way to escape. It's not something you should be proud of. I know that you think that, you, you know, there's a void in your life. There's a void in your heart. And you think the only way to fill it is to just sleep around with different girls. But you're destroying your soul. You're destroying yourself. Sleeping with different girls. What does it do for you? It leaves you empty. And in fact, emptier on the inside. I've been there. When you are empty, you're seeking for something to fill you up. But sleeping around will fill you up. Just like any bad habit, it wouldn't. What you need, what you need. Let me, let me just, let me tell you what helped me. And what help, what can help you. You need Jesus Christ in your life. Just invite him into your life. You need peace that he provides. Peace that passes all human understanding. That is what you need. Single guys, single girls. You need peace in your life. Ask Jesus Christ. Tell him. Open up to him and tell him how helpless you are. How hopeless you are about this marriage thing. About this dating thing. You can't do it yourself. You need his help. Ask him for forgiveness for all the sleep, you know, sleeping around and whatever it is you've done in your life that you know that is, that is wrong. Ask him for forgiveness and tell him to save you. I'm going to, if you want, if you want that kind of help, go to Romans, just Google it if you don't have a Bible. Google Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 10. I want you to read it. He said, if you confess that Jesus is Lord with your own mouth and you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, you will be saved. You need to be saved. I was saved. And as soon as you are saved, you see that that void, that emptiness in your heart, it disappears, it flies away. Don't be deceived by your friends that go to the club, you know, coronavirus, now nobody even goes to club anymore. But you, you know, you sleep with prostitutes. I read some comments online and it was unbelievable how some, somebody said, oh, that he just slept with sluts and whores. He doesn't want to get married. That seems to be the generation we, we are in now. The fact that it's trendy doesn't make it, it doesn't mean it is right. The fact that everybody is doing it, even, you know, presidents, governors, husbands, married men are doing it, doesn't make it right. Do soul searching. Go to your God in prayer. Do what is right for you. Stop following the crowd. Is what has destroyed a lot of people. Go back to your God. Next week, the next yeah, next week, I'm going to talk about red flags for single girls and single guys. I'm going to talk about red flags that you, you can look out for. So look out for it. So today, I hope you have learned a thing or two from these questions, from single dilemma from two single guys. But before I go, I want to tell you about something I do in my, in my own time, my spare time, guys. I am an author. This is Choose Me, one of my books. It's sweet and steamy read. You will learn a thing, or, a, a thing or two. And it's one out of 34 of my romance books. I hope you find it on um, Amazon. It's on Amazon, guys. So I hope you get it for yourself. Read it. Pass, use it away to pass it. Uh, use it to pass away time. And you will not regret it. So guys until next time keep sending me your dilemmas follow me on twitter follow me on instagram and um, the links are below leave me your comments what do you think if you have contrary opinion that's fine let's rub minds just give me your comment share the videos to every single guy you know who you don't know who you will help until next time it's stella bye